What is going on, Ivor? This is your boy Edward V, and today we're going to talk about a new study that was done for a 48 hour fast. Stay tuned. What is up, IF Warriors? So I know you clicked on this video because you're interested in how this study ended and if it benefits intermittent fasting, the movement or the scientific evidence that are being uh, accumulated with intermittent fasting, or does it bring back intermittent fasting a few steps? Now, of course, I'm gonna have the link to this full study. It is pretty uh, you know, long if you want to read it, it's up to you, but I will break down the information, the abstract, and the conclusion for you in a very simplified way so that you can understand exactly what was determined by this study. Now I'm going to jump right into it, I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, the study, it consisted of nine people. So it wasn't a massive study across the board with over hundreds of people to determine uh, how, you know, effective this was. Also, it was only a one-time 48-hour study, so it wasn't judging or measuring how it would affect someone over long periods of time of doing a consistent 48 hours every three days or every four days, whatever the case may be. But it it isn't something that can consistently show what can happen to your body or what can happen to your cognitive abilities over time, but it does show what can happen within that first blunt force usage of 48 hour fasting period. Now these nine people were amateur weightlifters, which means that they've been weightlifting for at least a year or more, but not more than two or three years. If it's more than that, then you are an experienced uh, lifter and these people were not that they were amateur lifters that's the selection that they use nine people now to study brain waves and brain activities of course if you didn't know you first have to record the brain in a very calm state to understand that individuals actual brain patterns so what they did is they had all nine people go into a room a uh, dark room, sit down, calmly breathe, calmly, and they had the electromagnetic uh, connections on their uh, frontal lobe, in the front of their head, at the back of their heads, and they also had it on their heart rate and on their body, on their torso. So it, it measured heart rate, heartbeat, and it also measured the brain waves in the specific spots that would do the hemocampus and all those different, you know, the frontal lobe, those specific areas that may or may not be affected when fasting based on the evidence that we've had in the past and theories that a lot of doctors and scientists have presented. So what ends up happening is they were given these set of rules. The rules were they cannot eat, of course, for 48 hours, and also they will be working out after that 48 hour fast before they actually eat. So they will be working out in a 48 hour fasted state. So what was the conclusion that came out of this new study that was done? So they noticed that this 48 hour fast increased parasympathetic activity and decreased the activity in the frontal lobe. What is parasympathetic activity? Well, the body consists of sympathetic activity and parasympathetic activity. What it is is that the sympathetic activity is when your body is actually hitting that fight or flight mode. And I would think that it didn't hit that sympathetic activity because this was their first 48 hour fast or because this was their first time doing it in a long time. Mind you, these people were selected as people who have not done this and also were not in any other workout program or anything like that. But what is the parasympathetic activity? The parasympathetic activity is actually the resting of the digestive system when all of those parts of your body throughout your body, all of those brain waves that, that would require uh, to digest food, to do all these different things in your body that, that is not voluntary by you, not a manual voluntary movement, uh, stuff like that digestive system, the liver, you know, the pancreas, excreting all that stuff, cleaning you out, the parasympathetic activity actually increased. So the resting of all of those items, that the, the, the pancreas, the, the liver, the digestive system, that was increased. The resting of that was increased, which coincides with the evidence that we've done on mice and on some humans. 
one interesting uh, uh, fact that they found from it is that anger was increased. Yes, anger, the emotion, anger was increased based on this study. So I'm guessing that anger is increased because all these people that are not used to fasting at all just went from not fasting to a 48 hour fast as extreme as you can make it and then had to work out when they're so used to eating before they go into the gym i don't know if the anger had to do so much with the fasting system itself but that's what the study concluded so i'm also going to share that so Keep in mind guys, you may be more angry if you do a 48 hour fast, according to this study. The, another thing that improved that I'm actually proud of is the prefrontal cortex related to cognitive functions. So your cognitive abilities improve when you have no food, contrary to popular belief. So remember when your mom told you, hey, eat your breakfast so you can focus when you go to school, she's actually doing you a disservice. You gotta go in there faster, buddy. So it actually helped all these amateur lifters with their mental flexibility and set shifting. So they were able to do their workouts much, much better. Or, and it, it actually showed in the signals of the brain. It wasn't just somebody looking at them going, hmm, he looks like he's doing it much better than he did before he worked out fasted. It's actually them hooked up to these electromagnetic machines that's hooked up to them while they're working out that's signaling these things, stuff that they can't even control. It's not them saying that they felt this way, it's the computers actually registering this cognitive function. So in conclusion, like many, many intermittent fasting protocols that have taken place and studies and, 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 and information that is being gathered over time, it's another win for the intermittent fasting community because it is showing little by little with all these new studies that are coming out even though this one take it with a grain of salt it was just nine people not a massive amount of people and it was only 48 hour fasting blunt force for the first time ever but you can see that the body starts to do certain things with the prefrontal cortex cognitive ability increasing the increase of the parasympathetic nervous system those things are little lights or little or little beacons as to where we may be going with this as i said it will probably be impossible to know exactly the full potential and power of intermittent fasting within our lifetime as studies for long periods have to happen before you can actually know for sure what's working. Uh, however, mice have been studied extensively on this and it shows so much promise. And as these studies transition to humans, they're noticing that it is very, very similar to those of the mice. If someone's argument might be to you, well, there isn't that many studies out there, but that's because intermittent fasting is actually on a time window. For one to know, how it will affect someone for 20 years, you unfortunately have to study someone who's fasting for 20 years. Therein lies the problem. Now, if you wait for that study to conclude it to you, then you will have passed 20, 30, 40, 50 years, and you would have never lost the weight because you were just waiting for that piece of paper to tell you, hey, this thing works. Instead, use your own body as a study. Let these new studies that are coming out that are positive show you that it is in the direction that you're expecting or in the direction that you were very much against it being. All the people that are saying that it doesn't work are being fizzled out because as time goes on, there's just new studies and new revelations and every single time it's positive for the intermittent fasting community. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you have any other questions to any other videos that I've had in the past, I will have one here. And of course, I will have my subscribe button down there. Go ahead and click that to subscribe. Of course, that's very important. Uh, let's get this movement, push it further and further forward. Because I know you guys love intermittent fasting and I know you guys want the word to spread. I know I do. Let's work, let's work on this together. And of course, watch this video if you have any questions on that topic. I will see you on Sunday. Have a good one, IF Warriors. Peace.